loves, thanks for returning. I hope this video finds you happy and doing well. As you know by the thumbnail, this video is going to be a, another get ready with me, but this time I'm gonna chat about the makeup that I'm not gonna buy and why. So if you're interested, then just keep watching. So this video is gonna be really quick. I'm just gonna go through some products that I'm not gonna buy and why. I'm not really gonna go into the products that I'm wearing on my face. I'm just quickly gonna talk about a few products and some are old, some are new. So yeah, I think that's it. Hope you're still interested. Let's get into this video. All right. So anyway, let's get to it. Um, the first uh, product that I know I'm not going to buy and that would be the, um, or actually it's kind of two different things that are kind of similar. And have you all seen the new Wet n Wild collab with Care Bear? I do like Wet n Wild and I have a lot of their products. The only thing that I don't necessarily like about, or I'm not gonna say don't like, but don't want to purchase the item. And that's only because I typically steer away from super trendy items, right? Or should I say super girly trendy items? Um, some people may call it childish. I don't think it's childish. I just call things like that super girly. I, I don't know what I call it, but I tend to stay away from uh, collabs like that. Ne not because of something bad, but um, I don't know. It's just something that doesn't appeal to me. Same with the uh, Bart Simpson collab. And I think the Bart Simpson collab was with uh, or is with Makeup Revolution. And you know, with makeup, there's so many trendy items. And there's so many different new releases just coming and just really coming fast. And it's like, as soon as you buy anything, even if it's not trendy, you know, let's say like a foundation, like a Estee Lauder foundation. That foundation has been around for <laughs> hundreds of years, but it's like no matter what you buy almost, it's going to be like out of style. I don't want to say out of style, but people will have moved on to the next thing so quickly. And by me being uh, a YouTuber, you know, that, that, I don't know, that just doesn't appeal to me. But I think it's cute. You know, I think the packaging is cute, but no, I won't be buying that. <laughs> Next up is a, um, uh, what is it? Uh, exfoliator cleanser by Caudalie. Now, initially when I saw this, I was like really excited. I was like, oh, this is something that I can buy, try or whatever. And you know me. You all know what the first thing that I'm gonna do is. I'm gonna, I'm gonna flip, flip the product on. over and actually see what is in it. And, and when I flipped it over, what do you all think I saw? Let's take a guess, I'll wait. What do you think I saw? I saw that it had fragrance in it. And this year, I've just kind of made a conscious effort um, not to purchase products that have fragrance in it. And I know you're like, oh, Bridget, it's not bad. Well, that's true. But so many things are in fragrance. And from my understanding and what I've learned about fragrances is that fragrances have like 20 extra ingredients in it. And some of those ingredients include um, things that are in Sephora's call-out list. Like if a, fra a fragrance could be made from synthetic um, ingredients. And of course we don't know, you know, because they don't give us any detail. They just say fragrance. So when you see fragrance, it could be that um, natural ingredients are in it. It could be that uh, synthetic ingredients. Well, and some of the uh, synthetic ingredients, I know you're like, okay, Bridget, what is it? What is it? <laughs> but yeah, some of the um, synthetic ingredients conclude, uh, include things like um, phthalates. Are you all familiar with that? Well, I'm sure you are if you ever read any of Sephora's uh, call out list of ingredients. And so it's kind of like um, that they're contradicting themselves. It's like, 
because it says that, oh, we don't include or we don't have any uh, call outs and on the list of call outs is phthalates, but at the same time, you have fragrance in there. So, you know, what is it? What do you really have? And with that kind of stuff, you really have to be careful. Um, to destroy your skin or anything like that, probably not uh, over time. You know, I'm sure it could do uh, some things that you don't want it to do, but you know, do you really want to take that chance? Plus, if you have sensitive skin, Fragrance is like a major irritant. So, you know, that's something that I saw that I thought I wanted to buy, but no, I'm, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna mess with that. I'll let somebody else have that one. So now I'm just gonna buff this out a little bit. And I know that I said I was gonna use the Kat Von D palette, but changed my mind. <laughs> I picked up something else. The shadows in that palette are not, you know, are not doing what they're supposed to be doing. Well, the shimmers aren't. They seem to be dried out in this palette. So the only two shades that I did use out of this palette are this, this one and this one. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and put on my eyeliner, my mascara and eyelashes and all that stuff and I'll be right back. All right, so let's move on and keep this party moving. So anyway, the, another one that I was really interested in that child I'm not gonna buy um, this fragrance stuff I am leaving all of that in the past is uh, the it cosmetics melting balm um, I was looking at the ingredients and everything looks so good and and I have so many well I was gonna say so many videos on cleansing bombs I have so many cleansing bombs that I've tried and you know, they all don't work the same, in my opinion. But I turned it over when I was looking at Sephora. I just scrolled on down and there it was. There's the fragrance. I'm like, you just can't, I don't, I don't anyway. So I'm not gonna buy that. Not, not when, you know, so many other um, companies are not putting that trash in their product. And again, is it going to kill you? No, but if you use stuff over time, um, yeah, it, it possibly could hurt you. You know, you just never know. So that's one that I'm not, I'm going to stay away from. And next up is um, this freckle pen. <laughs> when I saw that, now I don't mean to, you know, just kind of, bash anybody but it's like what and I think it's like $14 I'm like really a freckle pen and I know a lot of people do that that's like the thing to do now but it's uh, uh you can just can't you just use a regular belt tip pen that you already have no uh, -uh. it's just another way for folks to get your money you know, and if there's something special about it that, you know, I'm missing, let me know. I would love, love to know about it. But when I saw that, I was like, a freckle pen? Huh, okay. To me, that's what they call, what are they, um, what, a cash grab? Let me know. I'm probably saying it wrong or thinking about the wrong thing, but mm-mm. No, ma'am. No, sir. You're not going to get my money <laughs> um the next thing that you know i know i'm not gonna buy because initially when i saw it i was like isn't that the same thing that Too face uh palette that's out the sunset something something the one that looks so much like this okay here it is y'all know exactly what i'm talking about but don't they already have that palette i'm like what is really going on so i looked at the shades okay and seeing as though i have darker skin how i don't see how that is going to you know really look any different from the palette that i already have now mind you you know i get it you know buying palettes and all that other stuff but to me buying the exact same palette no mm -mm, can't do it can't do it not gonna do it no 
No ma'am, no sir. Another uh, palette that I know I'm not gonna buy, uh, only because I really wasn't happy with their first, well not their first palette, but it was another palette that they had that came out last year. I have it back there somewhere. And it's Artist Couture's new palette. And to me, you know, I think that those palettes or that brand of palettes, I think that they're like, you know, kind of expensive for what you get. But that's another one that I'm gonna pass on. I have bought a palette so far um, this year and it was the um, uh, Patrick Ta palette. And I was, um, I had really wanted the palette that he came out with last year. I really wanted that, but I never did buy it. So, you know, I, I am buying palettes, I'm buying stuff. It's just some stuff, no, mm -mm, I know I'm not gonna buy. But going back to the Artist Couture palette, I just found um, that palette to be uh, lackluster, the one that I purchased. I felt as though a lot of the colors really didn't blend well and the metallics didn't show up well, you know, yada, 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 yada. It just, mm -mm. So when I saw the new one, and the color story looks really pretty. I like that, but I was like, uh-uh, no. I was no. like, ma'am, no, no, I'm not buying those wolf tickets. Sometimes I do get suckered in and buy, buy some wolf tickets <laughs> with all of this makeup stuff. Sometimes I do get caught up, you know, but not, not on that bad boy. If you picked it up and you like it, or if you have any of their other palettes, let me know, I'd love to hear you know what you think about it you know because it really could just be operator error it could just be me you know but it just wasn't the easiest palette you know to use at least for me it wasn't so I was like no mm -mm. no 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 man another palette that I know I'm not gonna buy because I never buy any of this uh, brand's product, uh, eyeshadow palettes full price. I'll buy them, but I only buy them when they go on sale. And that would be the Huda palettes, the new Huda palettes. They look super cute, you know, in my opinion, they do look cute, but it's like $30. I think maybe about, um, I think it was when I first started YouTube, I bought, when she first started coming out, with those type of palettes, I did buy, um, I bought all of them, I think. But I'm like, no, mm -mm. I'm not doing it. And the packaging is super cute, super cute. You know, what's uh, funny, you know, anytime that I make a purchase and um, my husband is, you know, he's present when, I'm, when I make the purchase. And I'll, I'll say, oh my God, it's so pretty. And he says, yeah, they get y'all every time with the packaging. You're right, they do. And that's a lot of why I bought the uh, Patrick Ta palette because of how pretty it is. Don't y'all think that palette is pretty? I think that palette is so gorgeous balls. Okay, y'all, let me see what else I got on this list to talk about. Let me get out my notes. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Oh, speaking of uh, palettes, that palette by Urban Decay. All right, the packaging is just too weird. I hate packaging like that. And you know, Urban Decay is no tour for, you know, coming out with weird style palettes and you know i've done it in the past but i'm not doing that anymore because that one is just no no ma'am no sir no and it seems to me as though their um i guess shadows they aren't as good as you know everybody else's but the pricing their pricing is like super up there so so that's just one I know, mm -mm, I'm not doing it. Definitely not. Y'all, I'm using this Fashion Fair powder. Speaking of which, she's got some good ingredients in her too. <laughs> Let me stop. Um, and I love it, I just love it. 
I love it, I love it. I think mainly what I like about it is the, uh, is the shade. I really like the shade. They're so nice. Y'all, I think we're in the home stretch of this video. All right, so the next thing up that I wanna talk about is Rem Beauty, R-E-M Beauty. So I was looking at their items and I think that's a new company. Y'all let me know. Y'all let me know if that's right or not, but hmm, I noticed that they had some lashes, right? Now you all know, or at least the ones that's been following me a hot minute, that I like lashes. I think they're fun, I think they're cute. So anyway, I was like, oh my goodness, let, let's see what they have. No, not buying those lashes. Wanna know why, can anybody guess? I know you all can guess. You all definitely can guess why I won't be buying any of those. Those lashes are so tiny and they want like $14 or $15, I'm like, for some tiny lashes? No, 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 no. Yeah, so I'm just not picking those up. And you know, sometimes I like to stack my lashes. Even with that, I'm not, mm -mm, no, I'm not trying it. I'll just stick with the, uh, <laughs> uh, I do drugstore and if like other major companies that are big like Lily Lashes, you know, things like that. If they have a sale, I'm on their little list. So when they have like a 50% off sale, I will, I definitely go and I pick up some, I stock up on some. Also, um, let's see, where is this? I can't use this one. I don't know why it's so hard for me to keep up with a brush that's on the table. How, why is that so hard? That's crazy. Okay, I found it. And this is not what I want to use. Yeah. So let's see what else we got. Let's look. Let's look and see what else I'm not going to buy and why. Um, okay. So they have a Powder Me SPF 30 Dry Sunscreen by Jane Ardell. I, I know I'm probably butchering the name, but um, I... Those, um, it's like a, a powder with a sunscreen in it. And I get it, but it's like, how do you clean it? I've always wondered about those type of products. Like, how do you get it clean? Do you just, you just, just always have it dirty? You know, what about your skin? You know, how do you? So anyway, if you all know how that works, please let me know down in the comments because I can't buy something that I don't know how to like clean it. That just seems so weird to me. I don't get it. I can't. Because um, if I don't clean my brushes, like if everything's not clean, my skin is going to be like, what? What are, what, what are you doing? What's, what's going on? Are you serious? Like, are you really going to do us like that? <laughs> and I'll be like, uh, yikes. I was watching a lady on um, YouTube. This was years ago. And she was a big YouTuber, I forgot her name. But she was struggling with acne. And she she had left for a while. And she came back and her skin was so clear. And she started think, talking about things she did to clear up her skin. And child, she said that what she did to clear her skin was clean her brushes. And she also said that, she said, because I've never cleaned my brushes. <laughs> she said, I just never cleaned them. I would just use them over and over and over again. And she said, once I cleaned my brushes, everything was good. I was like, oh my God. I thought that was amazing. You know, you, you don't clean your brushes. You never thought to clean them. So yeah, I just, I'm not, I can't get that. I can't get down like that. I don't, and you know, I don't want to 
be, I don't want to act like anybody's mom and be like, I don't think you should do it either, but I don't think you should do it either. <laughs> Okay, so the other thing that I, uh, I know I'm not gonna buy it, I saw it and I thought it was pretty and that would be the Charlotte Tilbury Nudegasm palette. Um, it's really pretty and I have the, um, the, the Glowgasm palette and I think it's really, really pretty but the, it, it looks really, it looks the same. I mean, I could be wrong, but it honestly looks the same. And I'm like, uh, I don't, I don't know if I can do that this year. You know, buy a lot of stuff that looks the same, only because I'm buying other stuff. <laughs> if you watch me, you know what I'm talking about. And the other stuff that I've been kind of uh, buying here lately is a lot of uh, Michael Kors items. I don't know what where this sudden app uh, Michael Kors obsession has come from but um, I've been buying like purses and the shoes speaking of which y'all go look at my uh, videos look at my videos watch my videos share my videos help me get into or back into the uh, YouTube atmosphere yeah, I'm just kind of doing my brow bone highlight. All right, so last thing I'm gonna put on is some mascara. And I'm gonna be through. I think I've got it all. Okay, yeah, to kind of darken this up a little bit. Okay, so this is it. This is the final look. <laughs> Let me know down in the comments what products uh, you're not going to buy that you're anti holly Let me know if you are on a no buy. Um, I'd love to hear about it. Thank you so much for tuning in and until my next video, smooches.